I have a Dobsonian telescope and Argonavis digital setting circles, which is fantastic for locating faint deep sky objects when I'm doing more serious observing from true dark sky locations. However, I also use this telescope a lot within a very light polluted southern hemisphere city for public outreach and school nights. For these evenings, the Argo Narvis takes too much time to install and set up. Also, there are usually only three or four brighter objects I try and locate on these nights, but these objects can still be a struggle to find under city light pollution. As a result, I've looked for quicker, low-tech ways to locate objects. There are some excellent YouTube videos where people have printed very accurate setting circles to permanently attach to their telescopes. However, I decided to try an admittedly less accurate, but more simple version. For the azimuth axis, I took a length of plastic garden irrigation hose and cut it to fit around the base of the Dobsonian mount. I ran a string around the outside of the tube, measured its length and divided by 36. Using a pair of dividers and a ruler, I marked 36 points representing 10 degree azimuth increments. I also marked a centre point on the Dobsonian mount directly under the eyepiece. On the telescope base, I attached some scrap plastic sheet under each foot. These can be turned to face inwards for storing and transporting the telescope and then outwards for supporting the azimuth tube. For the altitude, I purchased a simple inclinometer with a magnetic base. A couple of extra magnets made attachment more secure to the telescope's steel upper optical tube. The inclinometer uses a simple pendulum to indicate the optical tube angle above the horizon. On my scope, I had to locate the inclinometer on the lower side of the optical tube as the finder scope gets in the way. The inclinometer also has a little indicator marker that can be slid to the required angle and then the inclinometer easily popped back on its attachment magnets. Every telescope owner should be using the Sky Safari Planetarium app. It is excellent. At any moment in time, Sky Safari can tell you the degrees of altitude and azimuth for any astronomical object, and therefore its location in the sky. You can find this information on the Sky Safari object info page for your target object. However, the first task is to align the azimuth tube with true south, since this telescope is located in the southern hemisphere. Drop the azimuth tube around the Dobsonian base. Now slew the telescope to a bright star, in this case Sirius. In Sky Safari, Find Sirius and open the object info page for the star. This will show the current, and always changing, altitude angle above the horizon and azimuth angle. In this case, 70 degrees. Center Sirius in the eyepiece and then move the azimuth tube to place the 70 degree point under the center mark on the Dobsonian base. The 180 degree mark will now be aligned with True South and the South Celestial Pole. The azimuth tube should now remain stationary as you slew the telescope to target objects. As long as you don't accidentally move the azimuth tube, you are ready to find objects for the rest of the night. Find a desired target in Sky Safari, say the Tarantula Nebula, open its object info page and read off the azimuth and altitude. In this case 189 degrees in azimuth and 47 degrees altitude above the horizon. Slew the telescope to these coordinates using the azimuth tube and the inclinometer. The target should at least be in the field of view of your finder scope and hopefully close to the eyepiece field of view. If the pointing accuracy goes awry during the night, try recalibrating the azimuth ring again on a known star.